Today on Winning Golf, one of our contestants could drive home in a brand new GMC Terrain. Believe me, you won't want to miss the excitement next on Winning Golf. everyone and welcome to Winning Golf, the show where everybody wins and today our first show of the season comes from the spectacular White Manor Country Club and joining me today as our host from Shorn Construction is my very dear friend Joe Shorn and Joe we have just a perfect day here at White Manor weather-wise. We have a talented group of players, a lot of prizes to give away. I think we're going to create a lot of great memories today Joe. You know we're very excited to be here today Doug. This is a first class facility and it looked like it dropped right out of heaven. Um, with us today are 16 very talented guys, seven of which were former champions, and we have our grand champion from last year with us. So it's going to be a very spirited competition today, and we're looking forward to it. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Joe. Hey, guys, you ready to play some winning golf? Yeah! Awesome. I love your enthusiasm. Now, our first prize challenge is a two-man team putting contest, and Chris Webb and Scott DeFlavis have been selected to try to win the prize. And, guys, what a prize. How about a gift certificate to the beautiful Desmond Hotel if you can win this challenge? Sound good? Yeah. All right. So here's the challenge. you got a 40-foot putt. The goal is to two-putt. Now here's where the teamwork comes in. One of you will lead off, the other will try to close the deal. Okay, so the question today is, who's leading off? Uh, I'm going to do my best. All right, Scott, you're going to lead off. My question to you is this, are you going to leave Chris with a little gimme or maybe a four or five foot tether? Uh, I'm going to make it work for it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got faith in both of you. Let's get ready to putt. Well, here we go. Scott DeFlavis will lead off and hopefully leave his partner, Chris Webb, with a tap in. On long putts, you want to focus mainly on the speed. After you're set up, focus on the speed. This should move a little bit from Scott's left to right, and here it comes. And boy, the speed looks great. And the line looks pretty good. And he's going to leave Chris with a little tester about four feet. Well done, Scott DeFlavis. Well, as they say on weekend mornings, there's a little chicken left on that bone on this putt. Chris has about four feet. This should move slightly towards the water. Got a beautiful setup. And here's the putt, and it is in the heart of the hole. We've got a winner. Chris Webb and Scott DeFlavis win the prize, and we're off to a great start here at Winning Golf. Well, Chris and Scott, congratulations. That two putt has just won both of you a gift certificate to the beautiful Desmond Hotel. Hey, I hope you had some fun. It was awesome. It was Thank great. You very much. Thank you. Yeah, great. great. Well done, guys. Well, as you can see, the Shorn team knows how to play some winning golf, and the great news is we still have lots of exciting contests ahead of us. But first, let's take a tour around this championship facility, the stunning White Manor Country Club. White Manor Country Club, a private club managed by Concert Golf, opened its doors in 1962 when it purchased 170 acres of magnificent land from the Evans family. This historic property, with numerous striking views, was originally owned by William Penn. Today, White Manor is where you will find one of the country's most beautiful and challenging golf courses. In fact, Golf Week magazine recently voted it the number three ranked modern design golf course and number 14 overall course in Pennsylvania. Redesigned and renovated in 2003 by renowned and award-winning designer Bobby Weed, this 18-hole jewel is scenic, playable, and always in pristine condition. The course, which stretches to over 7,000 yards from the tips, offers five sets of tees, which makes it player-friendly for golfers of all levels. Along with the first-class golf course, the manor features state-of-the-art practice facilities. We have a driving range you can hit up to about 300 yards, multiple flags, multiple targets two different grass tees. Also, we have a teaching cabinet as well that um, if it is uh, not a nice day out, you can, you can go, in the, go in there. If it's raining out, you can hit balls in there. And you can have a heater in there as well, so you can actually go in there and hit if it's uh, cold outside. So, we also have a good short game facility down below the golf shop where you can hit shots from 20 yards up to 100 yards. You can really work on your wedge game, really work on your short game facility. Yeah, we have three or four bunkers down there. You can do that as well, so you can really hone in on your short game down there. Even in the off season, you may continue to work on your swing thanks to the addition of two swing simulators. As for playing the course, in addition to electric carts, the golf operation offers an enjoyable walking experience by providing a vibrant caddy program. The golf pro shop is well stocked 
and offers the latest and greatest in fashion and equipment. The golf staff provides first class service as well as top level instructional programs both for adults and juniors. Of course, White Manor's amenities don't stop with the golf course. The club also offers a well-maintained and heated pool, a two-mile walking trail, as well as outstanding tennis facilities including six fast-dry hard true courts, two paddle tennis courts, and a fully equipped fitness center to keep you in top shape. Last but certainly not least is the beautiful clubhouse. This newly renovated facility is the ideal setting for any social or corporate event. Whether it's a business meeting for 10 or 200, or a social party for 25 to 250, the White Manor staff will be happy to accommodate you. Staffed with a professional event planner and an award-winning chef, your events will be planned flawlessly and the menu will be executed to perfection. For the membership, a wide variety of dining experiences are provided, along with several dining venues. Whether it's a fine dining experience, special occasion or wedding, golf outing, holiday party, or corporate meeting, you can trust the White Manor staff to do it right every time. White Manor welcomes any prospective member wishing to join a first-class club, as well as experience the diversity and community feeling of its present membership. With an average age in the mid-40s, White Manor offers the perfect environment for a casual family life. If interested in membership or planning a once-in-a-lifetime event, please call 610-647 1070 or check out the web at whitemannercc.com. Get ready for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. Winning golf where everybody wins. Now let's meet our players. Ray Gargano, Paul Frank, Dennis Bruce, Chris Webb, Mike Holmes, Ernie DeSuma, Jim Flat, Joe Shorn, Duke Scott, Scott DeFlavis, Howard Liebold, Jim Friss, Tom Cook, Ian Kramer, Andy Hamka, Bill DeFalco. Our players are set for Doug's Foot Joy Lesson Tip and Shoe Contest. Fellas, today's Foot Joy Contest comes to you in three parts. Part number one, I'm gonna share with you four keys that will lead to a successful flop shot. Part two, Howard Liebold's gonna put my lesson tip into action. And part three is the foot joy contest where all of you will get to hit this flop shot at the same time compete for an amazing prize, guys. How about this? A new pair of foot joy shoes, the number one shoe in golf. How's that sound? Yeah. Pretty awesome? What a great prize. Let's talk about this challenging shot. Here are the four keys that will lead to success. Number one, we want to make sure that we start with a little more weight on our back leg than our front leg. Now most shots around the green, we're always on our front leg. But for the flop shot, one that we want to get up in the air, we're going to actually start with about 55% of our weight on the back leg. Key number two, alleviate all your tension. If you want to hit it soft, you better hold it soft. So relax in your arms and your hands. Key number three, your club face. We want to slightly open our club face and we want to make sure that we come back down, that club face is still open. A lot of players start correctly, but on the downswing, they rotate their hands and close the face. If your face is closing, you're never going to hit a high soft shot. So the club face has to stay open through impact. And finally, key number four, rotate your body to the target. It's very common on short shots to stop your body, your arms then close the club face. You want to finish facing the target on this little shot. Sound good, everybody? Those are the four keys. Well, I've asked for Howard Liebold to come up and put this tip in action. Howard, thank you for helping us out. Have a nice applause for Howard. All right. Howard, step in. Let's go over the four keys real quickly. The first one we want to start with is our weight. I want you to feel a little more weight on your back leg than your front leg. Number two, and we've talked about this in our lessons together, tension free, soft grip, soft arms. Number three, we want to open that club face a little bit, just a little bit like that. And we want to make sure that when you come down, the club face is not closing, it is staying open. That'll give you the loft we want. And finally, number four, even though this is a short shot, when you're done, Howard, grip the club for me. That's it. Okay, come through the shot. And when you're done, I want you facing the target just like that. Sound good? All right, I'm going to step back with this wonderful team from Shore and Construction. Howard, when you're ready, let's flop one up on the green here. Oh, look at this touch, everybody. 
high and soft. That is a flop shot by Howard Leobald. I hope you learned a lot today. Oh, great tip, Doug. Can't wait to put it in action on this course. Thank you, Howard. Hey, guys, you ready to try to win a pair of FootJoy shoes? Yeah. Well, let's do it. For your private or group golf instruction with PGA Golf professional Doug Hendricks, go to winninggolftv.com. Now let's see if Doug's tip helps our players as they battle it out for the prize. The FootJoy contest is a 25-yard flop shot over a bunker. Ernie DeSuma showing good form. Ernie DeSuma with a beautiful setup and a beautiful stroke. And boy, that's a great touch, Ernie. Well done. Nice job. Scott DeFlavis learned from Doug's tip. Scott DeFlavis is at the banner. OK. All right, Scott. Well done. You're sharing the wealth a little bit today. Joe Shorn flops it to 10 feet away. Bringing it a high. Joe Shorn with a 60 degree wedge that gets to the crest and rolls down. And that's a beautiful touch by our host, Joe Shorn. Well done. But Jim Flat takes the shoes with this gem to just over five feet. 58 degree wedge, and that's going to be soft. Beautiful by Jim Flat. Well done, Jim. Tremendous. Gentlemen, our Foot Joy contest winner is Jim Flat. Jim, congratulations. You followed my instruction perfectly, hit a great shot, and now you'll be styling in a brand new pair of Foot Joy shoes. But, Jim, my question for you right now is this. How would you like to add a spectacular golf getaway to those new FootJoy shoes? Would love it. Let's do it, Doug. I love your answer. And you may have the opportunity when winning golf returns. Joy to this. Joy to tour tested performance. Joy to being number one in shoes and gloves. Joy to rain and making it rain. Birdies, that is. Joy to feel and feeling it. Joy to knowing our golf obsessed team has your back and has for over a hundred years. The all new Cleveland CBX will change wedge design forever. It's a more advanced, more forgiving wedge, specifically engineered for golfers who play cavity back irons, giving you spin, control, and all the forgiveness you need to get closer. The all-new Cleveland CBX Wedge. This is the short game changer. Prizes and tea gifts for the Winning Golf Skills Challenge provided by P.J. Wheelahan's Pub and Restaurant. Visit one of our restaurants and make it a party at P.J.'s. A-Head Advanced Headwear, Embroidery and Design. A-Head, Pure Putters, Higher MOI Plus Adjustability. No other putter offers the performance and versatility of a Cure Putter. Red Arrow Markers, Mark, Aim, Align, and Sync. Red Arrow. Doug Hendricks Wardrobe provided by the Greg Norman Collection. Greg Norman, Performance by Design. Welcome back to Winning Golf. It's time now for our Golf Getaway Putt, sponsored by Harrison Group Golf. Welcome back to Winning Golf. Well, guys, right now we're going to try to give away a very exciting prize, and here's the deal. Our wonderful host, Joe Shorn, will pull one name out of the hat. That player will then select one golf ball from this Strixon bag. Now, that golf ball will tell us the distance of the putt. It could be 15, 20, or 25 feet, all makeable putts, right, guys? Absolutely. Now, if that player can roll in the putt, he won an amazing three-day, two-night golf getaway for two to beautiful Ocean City, Maryland. How's that sound? Awesome? What a prize. Joe, you're on stage. Could you kindly pull one name out of the hat? Doug, I'll give you that. Here you go. The excitement is building. When this guy can putt, too. His name is Ray Gargano. Oh, Ray. Ray, congratulations. Thank you. If you kindly pull one golf out of this bag, preferably without looking. Thank you. And hand it to me. Well, he can putt. He's going to need a 25-footer to do it. Ray, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go win a trip. Ray Gargano is ready to go. If he could roll in this putt from 25 feet, Ray will win a first-class, three-day, two-night golf getaway for two to Ocean City, Maryland, courtesy of Harrison Group Golf. Here it comes. Ray Gargano going right out. He's got a chance. Oh, what a good effort by Ray Gargano. Got it to the hole. Good job by you. He didn't win the prize, but I still hope you had some fun. It was great. It was fun to give it a shot. Thank you, my friend. Well, we didn't give away the golf getaway this week, but the great news is we still have a lot of exciting prizes to give away in the Winning Golf Skills Challenge. So let's get round one underway. Our Winning Golf Skills Challenge will showcase our competitors' short game skills with some challenging shots in three preliminary rounds. 
If they win a round, they win a prize and valuable extra shots in our all-important survivor round. Our top two winners in the survivor round will compete in an up-and-in competition to determine this week's champion. First up, a 60-foot chip from the fairway. Bill DeFalco starts things off well. Bill DeFalco with a great setup and a beautiful touch, moving from right to left, and that's the way to play this shot. Well done by Bill DeFalco. Tom Cook set the mark at just under five feet from the cup. Rolling it from right to left. He's got the line. He's got the distance. That's a great shot by Tom Cook. Well done, Tom. Paul Frank hits a wonderful chip to one foot two inches. Look at this. Paul Frank could make it. Paul Frank. Wow. How about that? Ray Gargano is the first to less than a foot away. He's got to hit the pin. He's got a chance. Ray Gargano. Oh! oh! That's good TV, Ray. Duke Scott is an inch better at 10 inches. Way from right to left. This could be very close. Duke Scott going towards the cup, and that is winning golf by Duke Scott. Well done. But the shot of the round and the prize goes to Dennis Bruce at 9 inches. Moving from right to left. This could be in the cup. Dennis Bruce, and that is winning golf. Round two features a 35-yard pitch from the first cut. Howard Liebold leading the charge. Howard Liebold with a sand wedge. If it gets to the crest, it'll come down the hill. Here it comes. And that's a nice touch by Howard Liebold. A couple feet short. Huh? Ray Gargano pitching with style. Ray Gargano with a pitching wedge. It's got to get to the crest. It will come down, fellas. And here it comes. Ray Gargano. And that's a very nice touch. Bill DeFalco shows off his short game skills. Bill DeFalco with a beautiful touch. Coming down from right to left. That's all right. It's a good shot. Soft hands. Well done. Mike Holmes looking good at seven and a half feet. Here it comes. Mike Holmes. This could be pin high when it's done right below the hole with an uphill putt. And that's a great shot by Mike Holmes. Duke Scott continuing his fine play. Duke Scott with a 56 degree wedge. And this could be very good, everybody. Moving from right to left. And that's a nice touch by Duke Scott. Well done. But check out Dennis Bruce as he takes the round with this masterful shot to three feet, one inch. And that's the one to beat right there, Dennis Bruce. Round three is our putting contest with this 25-footer that Andy Humka handles well. Andy Humka, okay, so came across it, right? Jim Frisch shows off his putting stroke. Jim Frisch. All right, so that's a beautiful stroke right where he aims. Ernie DeSuma rolling his ball to a foot and a half away. And that's a nice roll. Got it to the hole nicely. Well done. Chris Webb is a little bit better. Chris Webb from 25 feet. All right. Howard Liebold up to the challenge. And that's a nice roll. Got it to the hole nicely. Well done. Scott DeFlavis is the first to under a foot from the cup. Now start a little bit on the right side. Well done. But check out Ian Kramer. He drains it. From 25 feet. If it gets there, it's in the cup. Ian Kramer drains it from 25 feet. Well, well done. Not to be outdone is Tom Cook. From 25 feet, Tom Cook, it's in the hole. Tom Cook drains it. Well done, Tom. And Cook wins the round in a putt off. Now it's time to check out what's on the tee with PGA professional Doug Hendricks. I'm on the tee today with Mike Chain Jr., the general manager of the Desmond Hotel, located right here in Malvern, Pennsylvania. Michael, great to have you on Winning Golf. Doug, glad to be here. I've traded in my clubs for a suit and tie lately. We have a lot going on at the hotel. Well, you certainly do. And speaking of that, a new partnership has happened at the Desmond Hotel, and I know it's a very positive change. Can you share a little bit about that? Sure. We found a great partner in Doubletree by Hilton. Uh, due to some changing market conditions and shifting consumer preferences, people are really looking for the comforts of home when they travel. Uh, and working with Doubletree by Hilton, we found a truly a great partnership that we're looking forward to. That's awesome. Well, I've had the luxury, Michael, to visit the hotel in the last couple of weeks, so I've seen some of the amazing changes that have occurred throughout the facility. Why don't you share some of the neat things that have happened at the Desmond Hotel? We've renovated nearly every part of the hotel, Doug, and thanks for noticing. Completely redesigned lobby, a new concept in a restaurant with a fresh new look, an exciting connectivity zone that allow our guests to interact in the lobby while checking their devices and staying connected at work. Uh, but the best part about the changes is we didn't have to change the staff or the team. So the same great service our guests have come to know for years will still be there. Well, I love the Desmond Hotel. It's all about the experience when you walk through those doors. And our guests are going to have that great experience, Doug, except now they can have their points, bread pudding, and a warm cookie when they check in. And don't forget that bread pudding. I'll see you next week on the tea. 
The top two players in our Winning Golf Skills Challenge Survivor Round will advance to compete in a one-on-one -on -one up and in competition to determine this week's champion. Players who've won previous rounds have extra shots to try to get it closest to the cup. This week, our players are tested with this 75-foot chip from the rough. Paul Frank makes his move. This will move a little left to right at the end, and that's about pin high, and that's a good effort by Paul Frank. Chris Webb chips it to nine feet, nine inches with a 56 degree wedge spinning. All right, nice touch right behind the cup. Well done, Chris Webb. Jim Friss tries to get into the playoff with this great shot, four feet, 11 inches. And here it comes. Look at that touch by Jim Friss. Well done, Jim. But two players did better than that. Jim flat at three feet, nine. With a gap wedge, and this could be really good, guys. Coming down from left to right, and that is winning golf by Jim Flat. Well done. And Joe Shorn, who takes the round at three feet, six inches. 75 feet with a sandwich. And boy, if this travels down the hill, it's got a chance. Look at that touch by our host, Joe Shorn. Well done. Host Joe Shorn from Shorn Construction graciously gave up his number one spot in the playoff to Jim Friss. So it'll be Friss and Flat in our four telecom help up and in playoff to determine this week's champion. That's next when winning golf continues. You'll never experience a hotel quite like the Desmond Hotel in Malvern. In early 2018, the Desmond will become a soft-branded Doubletree by Hilton Hotel, where you'll be able to enjoy a fully renovated hotel with the same great service and staff, as well as our popular two on-site restaurants and pub. Our distinct banquet spaces can accommodate all sizes for any special occasion. The Desmond is also home to the only IACC certified conference center in the area. Stop by for a warm hello, where soon you can get your Hilton honor points and a cookie too. Nice SUV. It's a new Buick Enclave. It can fit up to seven people. Or poodles. He's actually a Golden English Labra Irish Bernadoodle Retriever. The Enclave can fit up to seven other Bernard Golden English Labra Irish. Introducing the all new Buick Enclave. Tomorrow's SUV for today's family. Current eligible lessees. Get this low mileage lease on this 2018 Buick Enclave for around $389 per month. Prizes for winning golf contestants provided by Sterling Cut Glass, an official licensee of the PGA Tour and trophy supplier to thousands of the country's top courses. And Shrixon Golf Balls. Shrixon delivers total performance. Haas Jordan Umbrellas, umbrellas that make a statement. Haas Jordan. And the Orange Whip Trainer. You gotta feel it, the Orange Whip. Outerwear provided by FootJoy. FootJoy Performance Outerwear. Layer up with FootJoy. It's time now for the Winning Golf Up and In Playoff. Brought to you by 4 Telecom Health. Keeping your company from becoming a telecom statistic. We're on the 17th green and our two finalists are ready to compete for some amazing prizes. A slot in the Winning Golf Championship and the chance to drive home in a beautiful GMC terrain. Now the format for the 4 Telecom Help Up and In Playoff is simple. Whoever gets their ball into the cup in the fewest number of strokes will be crowned our winning golf champion. Our first shot in the four telecom help up and in playoff will be a 30-yard pitch from the fairway. Jim Frisch will have the honors. Jim carries a 23 handicap and plays most of his golf at Westchester Country Club. And boy, look at this soft touch by Jim Frisch from a tight lie. And that looks to be about 10 feet from the hole. It's a great effort by Jim Frisch. And now it's Jim Flat's turn to try and battle this challenging 17th green here at White Manor. Jim owns a seven handicap and enjoys his golf at Aronimic. And here it comes on the high side. Going to come down from right to left. And boy, he knows how to use that hybrid. And that's winning golf by both players. Well done. Jim Friss hit a beautiful eight iron to about eight feet from the cup. He's got a chance. Oh, right below the cup. Jim will tap that in. Jim Friss is in with a three. Well done, Jim. Well, Jim Flat has five feet to become the winning golf champion here at the beautiful White Manor Country Club. Here it comes. Oh, just over the edge. Well, Jim Flat needs this to force a chip off here at White Manor Country Club. It is in the cup. Well done, Jim Flat and Jim Friss. Well, the excitement is building. Both players have battled like champions, and now our four telecom help up and in playoff comes down to one chip shot from 50 feet. Jim Friss will go first and try to nestle one close to the hole. Here it comes. All right, it's rolling down the hill. It's still rolling. And Jim's going to have about, oh, he's about 12 feet away from the hole. 
And now it's Jim Flat's turn. He will need to get his chip inside of about 12 feet. Here it comes, it's like a putter. And it's working inside of Jim Frisch, which means Jim Flat is our winning golf champion. Our first show of the season at White Manor Country Club. Boy, your short game was on all day. Your hybrid is a weapon. I just hope you enjoyed your experience with winning golf. I had a great day. Uh, I'd like to thank Joe Shorn, great person, a great host. I'd like to thank you as well as your team. I uh, had a lot of fun here at White Manor. Well, thank you for your kind words. And Jim, your experience that we talked about isn't quite over yet because in a couple minutes, I'm going to give you the opportunity from 60 feet to putt for a brand new GMC terrain. Mm. How's your putting stroke from 60 feet, my friend? I'm gonna keep my head down. I like that <laughs> idea very much. Well, the suspense is building, so whatever you do, don't touch that remote. We'll be right back for more Winning Golf. Nice SUV. It's a new Buick Enclave. You can fit up to seven people. Or poodles. He's actually a Golden English Labra Irish Bernadoodle Retriever. The Enclave can fit up to seven other Bernad Golden English Labra Irish. Introducing the all new Buick Enclave. Tomorrow's SUV for today's family. Current eligible lessees. Get this low mileage lease on this 2018 Buick Enclave for around $389 per month. Gather with friends and make it a party at PJ's. With fresh cocktails and a great selection of local craft beer. Order up our famous buffalo wings. Flavored in your choice of seven signature sauces. Philly's number one sports fans catch every game at P.J. Wellahan. Where every seat is the best seat in the house. Find a location near your neighborhood. Visit pjspub.com. At FootJoy, we collaborated with the game's top professionals to engineer our most powerful shoe ever, the Tour S. Power strap was basically my idea. The launch pods are Rafa special. What do you think happens in there? You know what, Beef? The underfoot cushioning was all my idea. So comfortable. Feel the power. Feel the precision. Feel the joy. The all-new Tour S from FootJoy. Beef. Beef. Yeah. It's time on Winning Golf for the Champions Putt, sponsored by your Tri-State Buick GMC dealers. Check out the new Buick Terrain at your Tri-State Buick GMC dealer. Each week, our champion will attempt a 60-foot putt to win a gorgeous GMC Terrain. Winning Golf is thankful to have the Buick GMC Tri-State dealer sponsoring this thrilling event. Our champion, Jim Flat is only 60 feet away from the cup. If he can roll in this putt, I will hand Jim the keys to a spectacular GMC Terrain. A couple of seasons ago, somebody rolled in the 60-footer, and here it comes. Jim Flat, boy, he's got the line. He's got the speed. This one's got a chance. Jim Flat's got a chance. What an effort by Jim Flat. I hope you enjoyed our first show of the season from the beautiful White Manor Country Club. I would personally like to thank the White Manor staff and membership for their warm welcome and over-the-top hospitality. And a special thanks to my terrific host, Joe Shorn, as well as to today's winning golf champion. Congratulations goes to Jim Flat. Well, as you can see, we certainly have a lot to share with you in 2018. So I invite you to follow Winning Golf TV on Twitter, friend us on Facebook, and of course you can catch all the shows on NBC Sports, YouTube, and our website, winninggolftv.com. Well, thanks so much for watching Winning Golf, the show where, you got it, everybody wins. With me.